Hey guys, how's it going? It is Drake. So what happens when you take Age of Empires, Tower Defense, Survival Mode, and thousands and thousands and thousands of enemies? You get Age of Darkness Final Stand. I've put about 10 hours into this game so far. I'm probably going to put way more into it. And after this video, not only do I think you'll buy the game, I think you'll put 100 hours into this game. What the game is currently is brilliant, and the developers have laid out one hell of a roadmap that looks very, very confident. Before we get started, uh, feel free to like the video. It helps this video spread so more people can know about me and the game. That's very much appreciated. Question of the day then, uh, will you give Age of Darkness a chance? Whatever your answer, yes or no, tell me why. So Age of Darkness came out of nowhere for me. I saw a trailer for it and instantly bought it. I never do that. I wasn't expecting to do that. But I was looking for a very specific game. And no, not a strategy game. I was looking for a game that I could stop and start. I could pick up and drop at any single moment. I didn't need a single player game because I know in the back of my head, and I think you know this as well, you know that there's going to be an eight hour investment or a 30 hour investment to really get the benefit out of that, whether it be a God of War or an Uncharted or a Last of Us or whatever it is. I didn't want to go the the other side of things either where I play a super sweaty comp game, League of Legends, Dota, Valorant, CSGO, doesn't matter. I just didn't want to delve down into that. I wanted something that I could play after work, I could play in the mornings, I could play on a lunch break. It fits my schedule and it's got to be a good game. This is where Age of Darkness comes in because it hits that sweet spot. It lit a fire under me that I think every single gamer knows about where you can't stop thinking about it, you can't stop talking about it anyone that mentions a game to you, you feel the need to bring it up. That's what this game will do to you. It's easy to play, hard to master, and with what is coming in the future, I think the depth of this game is just going to compound, and I think this is going to be a big game in like a year. So aside from me loving the game and being really giddy about it, what do you actually do? What is the point of it? Let me tell you. In its simplest form, Age of Darkness is a gathering resource game. You build out your base, you build out your army, and you wait. You wait till darkness hits and you defend your town. It's not a traditional RTS game. You're not playing against other players at the minute, although that may come in the future. Right now, it is just very, very, very well built on the premise that you have to build and turtle up and defend what you have built. It does it in a really cool way as well. So effectively, the game has crystals all about the map and each midnight rolls around. I think it's every couple of nights. One of those crystals will break and thousands of enemies will spawn and they will come through a specific lane in one of your bases. That's where the tower defense aspect kind of fits into it. In a really dumb, simple way, and I feel embarrassed for saying this, it's like if Age of Empires had a baby with Minecraft survival mode. But when you dig down into the game, it feels like a lot more than that. The unit types, the upgrades, the resource management, the base management, the exploration, uh, and one interesting little tidbit, the hero. So this was a little special moment for me where you could actually have abilities on your hero and take them around the map, level them up, and they're effectively a captain of the entire team. After the days tick on and on and on, you get to about day 24, day 25. I think day 30 is the last day. I've not got there myself yet, so I can't say. But eventually the four crystals uh, all break at once and everything comes for you at once and you have to deal with everything. Everything you've spent your time building over the last couple of hours all comes to a head and you have to have one final stand, as the title suggests. I trust this game, I trust these developers. And the roadmap that they've laid out is really sensible of all things. It's very sensible. They've got things on there like new units, new builds, new researches, uh, new heroes. So it's not just the standard hero that you get right now. You can actually have, uh, I think it's two or three they've got planned. Then they're bringing in a story mode. Right now it's just skirmishes. The specific part on the roadmap that I'm very excited for is the co-op. Now the co-op is something that could make me put two, 300 hours into this game because the core elements of the game are already so addicting and satisfying to do. The idea of playing that with a friend while they do resource management and you do exploration or you build an army while they do base expansion, very, very exciting. This game has got all the right elements to build out. Things like new units, new buildings, new research paths, everything is there. So it's fairly priced. Right now it's got a strong foundation. The horizon of this game looks very, very, very optimistic and very hopeful and realistic. If you're looking for a new strategy game or just a new game in general, something you've not tried before, I highly recommend this game. So I'll see you in the comments down below to talk about this game. If you've played it, tell me all about it. If you know stuff that I don't, which is very likely, tell me about it. And if you're not sure what all the fuss about uh, with GTA is, feel free to click on the screen now and it'll take you over to my video about that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in a couple of days. Peace.